Hi everyone, it's Christina with Bubblegum Paper and I am back with more card videos for you. I actually have something special to share with you because I think we could all use a little YouTube binging and escaping from everything that's going on out in the real world. So I have one kit. It's actually a scrapbook kit by Doodlebug Design called Under the Sea and I'm going to make five cards out of it. So some of these cards are going to be a little bit more elaborate, I would say, than others, and others are just like quick and easy cards. So I have a whole range. I'm actually going to post a couple today, a couple tomorrow, and I'll probably finish it up on Monday. So I hope you all stick around with me for some YouTube binging this weekend. It's an excuse to watch YouTube. As I mentioned, I'm using a kit from Doodlebug Design called Under the Sea Essentials, and the first card I'm making is themed hugs because we could all use a few more hugs. Here's a close-up of what the card looks like, and let's get started. As I mentioned, I'm using the Doodlebug Design Under the Sea Collection Essentials Kit. Now this kit comes with a little bit of everything from their Under the Sea Collection. So you get embellishments and ribbon, you also get a bunch of sticker sheets and some really pretty pattern paper. So I'm going to walk you through everything now. The pattern paper is so cute in this collection. Here we have starfish with rainbow waves on one. Then we have a bunch of sea creatures from mermaids to dolphins to turtles and octopuses, which I actually had to look up on Merriam-Webster to see what the plural of octopus was, octopi or octopuses. And then um, we have this really cute purple paper with like green circular dot patterns on the back. And then I have this sheet, which I've actually used a little bit of already. It's a bunch of seashells on one side and then blue ocean waves on the other. And then the next sheet has little flowers, which I've also used on one side, and then the scrapbooking cards on the other, which I haven't used. But um, unfortunately for the scrapbooking paper side, I'm actually using the flowers in most of my cards. So here is here are the two cards that I already cut out. It's like a little mermaid card and then um, one that had text on it. For the stickers, now Doodlebug stickers are so awesome. They're super thick, they're really good quality, and they're sticky. They stick really, really well. So be careful when you stick something on. If you want to try to take it off, you have to take it off super, super carefully, or it's just kind of stuck there. So we get the sea creatures, alphabet stickers, and a bunch of borders. Then there are these super fun flower, dot, flower brads and seashell brads, which are super fun and then this gingham purple um, sort of check pattern ribbon. So for today's card, I'm using some of these really cute stickers from the Icon sticker sheet, and then I'm also using the fun seashell pattern paper that I already used a little of in a previous project. So I'm cutting the pattern paper to a standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall, and then I'm taking this white cardstock and I want to show more seashells, so I'm just cutting it down to three and a quarter inches wide so there's a half inch border on either side. The dies that I'm using are the painted hugs and the stitch circles from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm taking this stitch circle, the second largest one, and I'm just looking to see if that fits the crab, which it does. So now I'm going to use the guides on my craft mat to figure out where I want to tape these dies down. I'm just centering it on the white cardstock. I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and then I'm also going to take the hugs again and I'm going to run them through one more time on the blue wavy patterned paper so that way I can have the hugs in white and the hugs in blue. Next I'm going to trim a little bit of blue vellum that I'll use for the window and in the back of the hugs. So here are all the different components. I have the really fun patterned paper and then I have the die cut hugs on the white and then I have my vellum as well as the hugs in the two different colors of white and the blue waves. So the first thing I'm doing is taking this vellum piece, the smaller one, and I'm applying adhesive tape runner over the entire back. Then I'm going to take that sticky side and place it over the hugs. And this serves as a sticky gluey back for the hugs word. So I'm inserting the blue hugs first, and then I'm taking the innards from the G and the S and placing those down as well. 
Next I'm taking the pattern paper which is really cute but I feel like the crab isn't going to stand out that much so that's why I'm using this other piece of vellum and that will kind of mute out some of the background so the crab pops out a little from the front of the card. So I'm just using adhesive tape runner um, to tape down that vellum. And what you want to do is make sure that you just get the edges so that the adhesive doesn't show through the, um, the vellum on the other side. So you can see here I have a little adhesive that's showing through, so I'm just rubbing it off with my fingers. That's, what gr that's what's great about the Tombow adhesive tape runner is even though it's marked as permanent, if you work quickly enough, you can still remove some of the adhesive. So now once I do that, you can't see any of the adhesive when I put the card over it. Next I'm taking the icon sticker and I'm using this crab and so for the crab I don't want it to be too sticky on the back because I'm using foam adhesive to prop it up. So I'm going to use my powder tool and remove the adhesive backing. Now you can move it around, it doesn't stick to anything. And then I'm going to take foam adhesive and prop it up that way. You can skip that step with the powder. I just like to do it just so it's not super crazy sticky in all places and it only sticks to the dimensional adhesive. Next I'm taking some foam adhesive and I'm adding that to the back of the white card base as well. This will help the white card base stay the same, um, stay on the same plane or level as the crab so it'll stick up as well. Then I'm taking the fancy frill stickers. These are so fun. I wanted to use all the colors but I stuck with the blue wave theme. So I'm placing the fancy frill on one side and then I'm matching it on the other side and I still have a little inch left over which I ended up tossing. I'm ripping up all the foam adhesive backer so I can stick everything in place and I'm using my craft mat. Thank you Martha Stewart Crafts for this craft mat because I use these grid lines all the time. And then I'll place the crab down and then I also decided to add a couple starfish. So here's the starfish and that's the card. And then I'm taking a standard A2 card base and folding it at the top so it's a top card base, gluing the front there and then finishing everything off with a little bit of clear Winko Stella pen to add some sparkle. So here are two close-ups of the finished card and I just think this crab is so cute. But it just dawned on me that if a crab gave you a hug, that might not be so comfortable. But then even crabs need hugs, I bet. Crabby people need hugs, that's for sure. So anyhow, thank you all so much for watching. Here are two other cards I've made. One was a sea-themed whale card and the other one uses Doodlebug Design washi tape. Um, definitely check those out. You can follow me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. Thanks again for watching and check back later today for the next card. See you soon. Bye!